I think we should make it clear publicly so that not just Putin, but all the top Russian leadership, all the citizens of Russia know that if Putin authorizes the use of a nuclear weapon, uh, he's signing his own suicide note. So what would that look like in practical terms? Well, you know, he's the, uh, the center of command and control of the Russian military. National Command Authority is what we call it. He's a legitimate military target. And I think, uh, while plenty of other things we can do as well, that he needs to know that he's on our target list at that point. Why did you write this week that Putin must go? Now is the time for regime change in Russia. You know, I think this has been the 800-pound gorilla in the room uh, ever since uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. Uh, increasingly, it's clear from everything we know about the way the war was conducted in Ukraine, the atrocities committed, uh, what Putin is doing inside Russia, the threats he's making uh, on the nuclear side, this whole combination of behavior uh, makes it very hard to see how there can ever be normal relations between Europe, the United States, and a Russia under Putin. Russian people are talking about this themselves. Uh, Alexei Navalny has written about what a post-Putin government in Russia would look like. Uh, we need to decide for ourselves. We need to have the debate uh, if that isn't now our ultimate objective, not because we saw it at the beginning for something like this, but because Putin has left us no real alternative to